Hey guys, it's Googly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Arrow OS for the OnePlus 3 and 3T, so stay tuned for that. So guys, Aero ROM, it's been around for some time now and uh, it is actually one of the most stable ROMs available for any device and uh, it's available for a lot of devices and especially for the OnePlus 3, it's a great daily driver from what I can see and uh, I really like it. Let's get started. First of all, in the about phone page or this is the ambient display, as you can see it does have the uh, place of weather, weather data and also temperature and all that. It is customizable, you do have a lot of options in that options. This is the launcher, it is basically um, kind of like quick step it is uh, launcher 3 and uh, you do have a lot of options here one of the things which i really like is clear all app with a swipe so that is really really awesome as you can see i have got a lot of things open up if i swipe down it's all gone and it's amazing i love that a lot so that's one thing let's go to the about phone page in the settings menu in the about phone page you can see that it is arrow and you can see it is version 9 the security patches of january has been applied this is a kernel which is pixel experience uh, 318.131 that is the latest version available for our device so that's also pretty cool apart from that basically everything is similar uh, SLN status is permissive and uh, that's pretty much it in the about phone page when it comes to arrow rom it has a lot of features but the features are not in uh, specific sub menus like in msm extended havoc or Selection remix these are all baked in with the rom itself so that's pretty cool before any of that basically everything works i haven't found anything which uh, is grossly not working let's get started with the features now first of all network and internet in there you have a few stuff in that the specific ones or traffic indicators are available and you can enable that from here it's the basic one but it is one no, the less roaming indicator can also be enabled or disabled from here which is pretty cool now device button and app bar options are available where you can customize the power menu options and you can enable advanced reboot screenshot lockdown options are available lock options can also be customized even if you want to disable advanced reboot on lock screen you can do that screenshot all of that can be customized which is pretty cool to have on screen navigation buttons can be enabled with pie animations or pixel animations enable one hand mode and also nav bar configuration can be customized from here also you can hide the hardware button from here if you enable that hardware button will be disabled and you can use the on-screen app door buttons pretty cool to have pretty straightforward backlight options are also available if you want to disable backlight you can do that it does work really well brightness level brightness timeout or black backlight timeout can also be customized which is pretty cool to have back button home button and overview button can be customized for the three options which is pretty cool to have um, it is the AOSB style one which does work really well volume rocker controls are available for playback control it doesn't have keyboard cursor control which is something else which i look forward to in a custom rom not available in this one sadly in the display options there are a few more options here brightness level you can customize that adaptive brightness is available nightlight is available you can enable that ambient display is available it does have the wake up sensors and all that but it's in a different option but it does have a new notification always on natively supported which is pretty cool double tap to wake on the lock screen vlt icon can be enabled or disabled as you can see and vlt does work really well so you don't need to worry about that double tap to sleep is available on the status bar clock and date options are available where you can customize all these options it even has date and date style and also date format AMPM indicator is available which is one of my favorites status by items can be customized and uh, it's basic stuff which you get ASP recent if you are using ASP recent if you want to install quick step you can actually have that QS panel tweaks are available you can customize what all appears here brightness slider can be enabled if you can if you don't want that you can just straight up disable that on the bottom on the top auto brightness icon can be enabled quick pull down is available tile title can be disabled quick setting footer warnings can also be customized and that's pretty cool to have as you can see these are all the options available for the quick setting panel and uh, have enabled most of them it is really really expensive where you have or what all options you have with this one now weather options are available and this does use the older style uh, cyanogen or lineage or lineage uh, weather options and uh, you can have open weather map that is the only provider right now i have actually enabled that it does work really well uh, status bar weather can also be enabled if you want that 
icon pack is available there are a lot of icon packs on google uh, on play store you can enable that lock screen weather can be enabled and also weather style can be customized now with this disabled this is the weather style which you will get um, with uh, the date and the day on date on one line and the weather on the other line if you don't want that if you enable this one it will be on a single line kind of like pixel and you can have that but i have seen that uh, with this you don't get the place name on the lock screen which um, I like that um, that is something which I like to have apart from that poker detection can be enabled density options are available you can customize that I, I know I'm at a horrendous resolution and display density but that's just something which I do system UI theme can be customized it does have black dark and even light mode also an automatic mode based on your wallpaper accent colors are available I'm using this deep purple color which is cool I guess for now at least so I'm I, I'm pretty happy with that it also has white if you are black and white like that in the sound options you do have link uh, the linking of a uh, ringtone and the notification volumes also vibrate for calls can be enabled now shortcut for prevent ringing is available which is uh, I mean it is kind of stupid on a oneplus device but it is available nonetheless there is a alert slider if you are someone who wants to quickly disable any type of ringing you can do that apart from that sim 1 sim 2 ringtones can be customized all of that is available which is pretty cool to have in the security and lock screen options you do have options like uh, lock screen preferences in which you can actually enable a uh, double tap to sleep uh, again from here also music visualizer can be enabled fingerprint unlock even after a reboot that's also pretty cool Finger fingerprint authentication vibration can also be customized from here which is pretty nice to have apart from that it also has face auto unlock so if you are using google's face unlock which is trusted um faces you can have the uh, lock screen just lift up on its own automatically if you enable this one works out really well something which i do want to mention is that my phone is not encrypted the ROS forum page does say that encryption is not supported i have not tried it with en encryption even from pi to pi so do it at your own risk do your research from the forums now apart from that everything is basically the same uh, in the device settings you get swap buttons you can enable swap buttons to swap it from the samsung layout to the oneplus layout you can do that notification slider options are available which is the basic one it does have the kernel profiles and i have actually tried uh, changing the profiles just because i wanted to and i do understand that this one will change the uh, governors inside the kernel there aren't many of it but it will change from interactive to conservative to power save i have actually tried out ultra battery saving and it basically makes the phone non-usable because it slows down a hell lot but i do uh, think that that's going to improve battery life but i didn't use it for that much time it does have srgb mode and also white color gamut mode if you are someone like that in the system options you do have gesture options in the gesture option you do have jump to camera option which is pretty cool activate torch by turning uh, by pressing the power button when the screen is obviously available swipe up home button is available which is the gesture control which is available with new pixel devices if you are using navbar button navbar you can do that prevent ringing again you can also customize it from here also screen of gestures is available if you are someone who uses oneplus screen of gestures personally i have just moved on from them I mean display options are available you can also enable uh, always on from here pick up and options are available hand wave and pocket mode is also available which you can customize from here which is pretty cool it also comes with an updater so uh, it will notify you of any update which is available for this rom and uh, i personally have not tried out the updater because i have installed a rom and it has not there has not been any update so just keep that in mind apart from that everything is basically the same i guess that much is it in the settings menu and that is the features available on this device it's a fair number of features there are a lot of features which are really really useful i like it uh, but I don't think it is going to pose any threat to all the feature kings out there like Resurrection Remix, Havoc or MSM Extended or even Skydragon. But it is a ensemble of features which I think is works really well for anyone who wants to try out a custom ROM and don't want to be overwhelmed by these features. And I really like this one. It's a very good balance between feature uh, richness and usability. I really like the features available on this one. Now the battery life. The battery life on this one is... Uh, um, well, for me, when I was using this ROM, I mean, all these numbers are because I was running benchmark like two or three times previously. So just keep that in mind. But when 
even using this ROM, the battle life was actually pretty good. I have seen people having issues with uh, battle life uh, with play services, but after an update and after some time after it has already synced everything, battle life was back to normal. I was getting about 1.4 percentage of idle drain and about 14-15 percentage of active drain, which is kind of what I would expect. It's not the best, it's not the worst either, but I'm okay with the battle life given on this ROM, and uh, I like that. Pretty good battle life in all regard. Now the performance of the ROM. The performance of the ROM is also pretty good, I would say. Um, let's just say that it is in line with every other Pi ROM. I got about 164,000, which is normal for a Pi ROM as of now. Everything just works. I have no issues with it. So yeah, that's pretty much I wanted to talk about the performance. Now the stability of the ROM. The stability of the ROM is also rock solid. I didn't have any issues with the ROM. I have checked out the forums where people were having issues with it. I never had any of the, those issues. What I do want to mention is is that there are a few applications like AirAsia. I have seen people talk about in my videos comments that AirAsia is not working and I have tried it with a lot of other ROMs also and uh, it doesn't work in a lot of custom ROMs so I don't think that's a ROM specific issue so just keep that in mind. Apart from that stability wise everything works. I didn't have any restart issues. I didn't have any issues where everything broke or everything freezed or uh, just crashed altogether. So I'm really happy with the stability on this one. Pretty cool. Now the camera. The camera with which it comes is the snap camera and not the AOSP camera and I'm really glad about that because snap camera has a lot of features and I really like these features it does have a pro mode it does have a night mode and it takes decent photographs even decent selfies and I'm really really happy with this one it uh, just works really well I'm I'm pretty impressed with the camera package you can of course install Gcam and get a lot more but that is personal choice but if you even if you don't you will have a good pretty decent camera with you so pretty nice to see that now the aesthetics of the rom the aesthetics of the rom is pretty good i can as i've already told you guys i love the dark mode which can even do the notification but there are other roms with more options available if you want light notification with the dark mode you can also do that with roms like uh, sky dragon or uh, havoc of that sort but uh, this one doesn't have those options but it is a full-on dark mode when you choose dark mode and i really like that good aesthetics are in the eye of the beholder so i like the aesthetics on this one it does have all the custom icons for a lot of things one more thing is that it uses gallery application which is uh i, I like this gallery which is a simple gallery and it's a great gallery it comes stock with it i like that so um i'm happy with this one now the overall experience of using this rom i have to say that this is a very very good daily driver for someone who doesn't need a lot of features but still wants more features than oxygen os oxygen os is still a very good feature rich rom for people who want the utmost of stability but for those who still want to try out a few things this is a great ROM. I have actually liked using this ROM because it's it's a no fuss ROM. You don't need to fiddle around with a lot of the settings and uh, it just works really well. So I'm really happy with that. One more thing which I do want to mention is that it does have call recording which I'm really happy with but it doesn't have automatic call recording. So that's one thing which I would have liked to have. All, all phones should have call recording enabled because it saves your bacon a lot more time. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool in this one. So guys, there you have it. That is the boot animation for Arrow OS and I really like the boot animation. It's simplistic, it says what it is and it's over in the jiffy and I really like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So guys, that much is it about this ROM then. In conclusion, it's a great daily driver. For those who don't want a ton of features but still would love to have a few of those essential ones, it's a great daily driver for most people and it will serve you well for some time. So yeah, I guess how much is it about the ROM then? Hope you guys like the video. Please just subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.